What is going on guys, I'm Reddit here with a quick tutorial on Battlefield Hardline. As you may know, it recently just came out, so I'm here to help the guys that did not play the beta, or just aren't very good at the game, as this is a quick way to level up and make some money if you're not that good at killing or anything like this. This is an easy way that I think anyone can do without a problem. But yeah, you will be needing to hop in a game of Hotwire and head right to the objective. Any of these flags, or cars I guess you can say, you will want to head to them immediately, drive away, start racking up those points as the longer you drive, the bigger the point stack, which obviously means more experience and more cash for you to spend on the weapons or equipment that you will need. Now, when you're playing this, say you're starting at level 1, the best bet, play this, get some cash, Maybe about 50 grand you will need for the basics, but before you buy any guns, as this is mainly an objective based game, you will want to invest into mainly two things depending on which way you want to play. Now you can either play this driver, or you can guess you can play as the handyman, which you could repair the vehicles to help people, especially the drivers out, to keep your car going longer. Now. The stunt driver is about 30 grand, so it will take a bit. But one of the first things you should buy if you don't want to drive is a repair tool, which is about 5,000, a little over 5,000, which it will keep everyone alive, keep your point stack going, and then you'll be able to afford that stunt driver in no time. Now, the stunt driver comes in handy for when you're driving, obviously, as it gives you a nice boost. To get away from you being shot or you get stuck on something so your bar does not go down you keep that beautiful point stack going and you will be in the money in no time now if you're going to be killing chasing whatever one thing you should buy is c4 once again that is costly but it will help you get some points and if you're being chased you could throw it down no problem one of the best things to do is obviously not drive alone if you have friends play with them communicate with each other and you guys will be racking points together without a problem and yeah it's pretty self-explanatory it is a very good way it is the fastest way that I know of I'm getting about 200 and 250 thousand dollars an hour I guess of playing now that is definitely on the high side as I'm getting about 20 to 30 thousand points a game which on the average everyone's getting about five to maybe fifteen thousand on the high side which I'm almost doubling every game as I guess I'm getting lucky or once again that stunt driver is coming in very useful but anyways that's gonna wrap it up if this did help you let me know in the comments down below also leave a like and subscribe as I will be making more tutorials anyways if you guys need anything leave a comment down below if it is requested enough I will make another video on it Anyways, I'll see you guys later, and peace.